UCL is the biggest university in the country, but that is really not what makes it for me. What makes it for me is that I'm surrounded by experts, by leaders in different fields, both with respect to oral health and allied subjects. It's, it's a really interesting place and you can immerse yourself as much as you wish into the culture. Um, and whether that is uh, using the senior common room, whether that's going to the public lectures. But I find the best thing is you can always find someone to talk to about your research or find someone to teach for you without even leaving Bloomsbury. The nice thing is you know there will be somebody at UCL that has worked in that area that you have a question about. And so there is the, the expertise in terms of the people, but also the resources as well. You know, UCL is very well resourced in terms of equipment. If you're looking to do unusual measurements, there will be those facilities somewhere at UCL and the expertise to, to help you with that. Your week is so varied. You know, I do, I see children on clinics, I teach and supervise on clinics, I do surgery. I really enjoy it because I get to do what I love doing, I feel really passionate about, but I get to um, teach it to others. What is Athena Swan? If you're not aware of it, it was an initiative that was developed in about uh, 2004 to really try and encourage more women into um, STEM sort of subjects. Athena Swan's probably developed further over the last few years, but actually it's about opening it up and thinking about equality, diversity, inclusivity. How can we influence um, policy? How can we encourage the next generation. We're really proud of our well-being offer here at UCL. We were delighted that in May 2021 we were awarded the foundation level accreditation of the London Healthy Workplace Award and we're one of only 300 organisations that have been awarded this so it's something that we're proud of. The hospitals moved from Gray's Inn Road to the Bloomsbury campus so we are now still very close to our partner hospital, the Eastman Dental Hospital, but we're in a separate building with state-of-the-art facilities. We spent a huge amount of money on phantom heads, clinical spaces, student hubs like the one we're in now, which uh, are probably the best in Europe. But one of the key things about our clinical skills suite is not just the equipment, it's the people. We have a group of staff who are very good at looking after this equipment, ensuring that everything works well and indeed they help guide us with regard to designing the facility. As a nursing team member you have to have a really wide knowledge of how the, all the equipment works because when you have a new course start everyone's looking to you for the introduction, uh, the guidance on how this machinery works or this equipment works and also teaching the students not only so that they can use the equipment safely whilst they're here but also if they take their knowledge back to their own practices or if they want to invest in any equipment then they can then pass on this knowledge to their nurses. The, the respect on both sides is, is really important and that, that's what makes the role quite unique because we are also asked upon for our knowledge and our experience. It gives me a sense of satisfaction knowing that I have a small part to play in helping people learn further techniques which will help directly impact patients and the people they come across. Facilitating that for me is a great draw for my job. I really enjoy having that part to play. The thing that gives me the greatest fun, you might say, about my job are the people I work with. They come from all over the United Kingdom and indeed all across the globe. And that makes it fun because you get a different perspective on different things that are going on in one's own life and with regards to the job.